Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, me, j 22 fish 15 and today's tutorial will be on how to create a Minecraft block like this. Um, I'm doing this tutorial because a lot of my viewers uh, play Minecraft. And yeah, pretty much. So uh, I'm only going to show you guys how to make the block here. This text effect is just pretty simple. So we're just going to do the block. So we're going to start off with a new document. Um, I'm going to go around 520 by 520. That's probably pretty good. Um, now once you do this, you're going to take your background layer here and you can click add elf channel. It doesn't really matter, but I like to. Now, um, in Minecraft, obviously they have the pixels on the blocks, so we're going to make those pixels. But um, the pixels are very um, random colored, I guess. They're shades of the same color, but they're at random order. So we're going to go into Filters, Render, Clouds, and Plasma. Once you do this, you can pick a value that's nice. Um, turbulence is good at probably around 3, and you can pick a new seed. Try not to have too much darkness in it. It will help you. And now you can go into Colors and then Desaturate. Once you desaturate it, then you can pixelize it basically. So go to filters, blur, pixelize. Now I found that for my document size, 520 by 520, 40 is a good pixel width and it has about 13 blocks on each of these over here. So that looks pretty good. I like that. Now I want to kind of create a little value to this, so I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to take my gradient tool and make sure it's on black to white, foreground to background, and linear. Now drag from the top to the bottom. You can hold down control to make it straight. And now choose the mode overlay. Once you do this, you can even duplicate it once if you would like, but I think that's a little too strong, so I'm going to go with that. Now for your foreground color, choose a dark brown, kind of like the darkest that you're going to choose, and then for the background choose a lighter brown. With the same gradient, foreground to background, go into colors, map, and then gradient map. Now before you do this though, you want to make sure you have an extra copy of this. We're going to use that an overlaid mode like this, and put it down to 50 right away. Now in the background we are going to do our gradient map. My bad guys. Now once you do this, uh, you can see our overlaid layer doesn't really help us a whole lot, but uh, you can still see it, which is good. So I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, I moved this overlaid layer to 100% instead. I think it looks better. And you can even duplicate that again if you would like, I don't care. Now you want to merge that down and go into colors, hue saturation, and just lower the saturation by about 10 or 20. I would go with 10. Now that you've done that, you want to kind of add that uh, green area on the top of your block. So you want to duplicate and go to colors, hue saturation. Now in your hue, you want to move the hue up to around 35 to make it a good green shade. You can use whatever value you want. Now, uh, we only want a portion to show, so we're going to right click on this layer and choose Add Layer Mask. And we're going to choose White. Now, change your foreground and background to white and black again. And zoom in. And go to your Rectangle Select tool. And select just the top three rows of boxes right there. And drag it all the way across so your selections should look similar to this. And once you have this select, go to select and invert, and then fill this with black. Then you can click select none. Now, that looks pretty nice, but we want to add a little bit of overhanging blocks and a little bit of um, underhanging blocks. So we're just going to take our rectangle select tool and manually select each block that we want. And it's important to be exact in here, or else it won't look very nice. All the overhang blocks just fill with white. All the 
underhanging blocks filled with black. Okay, now that I have my blocks kind of set up here, I want to make a little bit more of a value um, to this so it looks like the green is popping out a little bit more. So I'm going to first apply this layer mask, and then below it, I'm going to create a new layer. Keep an eye on my layers and gradients, or my layers palette over here, um, to see what, exactly what I'm doing. And I am just going to increase this uh, size here to show you exactly what it looks like here so now basically this new layer here I'm going to take my gradient tool and go black as my foreground and go foreground to transparent now drag top to bottom again holding control and that's pretty good now you want to change the mode to probably overlay and lower opacity to around 50 or 40 around there and then you can merge that down now what you want to do is go to the top layer or your bottom layer my bad and select this brown and duplicate it now drag this to the top and go to colors hue saturation and again change the hue to 35 uh, you can merge these two down to each other. That's okay. Now for the next step, you want to go and we're going to pretty much putting this into a block form. So we're going to go filters, map, and map object. Now once map object is loaded, which it might take a while. Oh geez, this is not good. Alright. Okay. Oh my god, why is this taking forever? Or well, we're gonna create a new layer on top first to make sure this will work. Now go and set your map to box, select transparent background, and that'll be good. Now go into light. You can select light or no light, it's up to you guys. Um you can preview this to see what it'll look like, obviously. And then you can go into orientation and go down to rotation down here. Change X to 30, Y to 45, and that's about it. Now go into box and choose front as your side little this thing. All right. Um, the dirt box I guess and uh, change everything except for top to that just to be sure that you have them all and then click preview now once that looks acceptable which I like that very much mm, yeah it's good and I'll click OK now this will take a while so um, please just take a moment and check out the channel of the day. Now once you have that done we will well pretty much that's it guys um if you want to you can add a little more value to this uh you can add a background if you would like that's up to you guys um 
But yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, you can actually, let's see, we're going to add a little highlight to this here, and that can be easily achieved. And we're going to make it like a round, roundish edge to this. And drag with our Convolve tool. And that didn't work very well, so we're just going to up our rate a little bit. And I think that looks good. And then just drag it up to here. And again, down the middle. And guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can add a drop shadow uh, if you would like, which is optional. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, if you like this tutorial, uh, subscribe. If you want more tutorials like this, please uh, comment. And if you guys want to get into a channel of the day, please comment on this video uh, stating that you want to be in the channel of the day. Uh, that's about it, guys. And um, I will see you guys later. And, um, yeah, pretty much. See ya.